right? And uh, <clears throat> we don't really want to focus on his death as uh, much as uh, everything else that he was able to accomplish in a short time. Uh, we're not going to shine no light on the uh, alleged shooter. We uh, just going to share the short experiences we all had or how we uh, came across it. Uh, years ago, I was living with uh, Easy. what, eight, nine years ago? Yeah. A long time ago. Uh, I came across Nip in a double XL magazine. They were doing like a little short piece on him. Uh, just started listening. It wasn't a fan right away. It was uh, something I had to, uh, I had to grow on. Basically, I just didn't, I wasn't up on the things he was talking about at that time. And uh, as time progressed and as I got older and I started to hear what he was saying, he became uh, one of my favorites. And uh, me and Easy would listen to him all the time. We would put our other friends on, trying to get them to listen to him. And uh, when shit like this happens, uh, I think it was Dave East that said it, uh, you know, when Pac and Biggie passed, I was young, so the uh, it didn't hit me the same way this did. Uh, it literally felt like losing someone that we knew personally, someone that we grew up with, just because uh, we listened to all the mixtapes and we heard him speaking about the victory lap and almost every one of them, and then for him to finally be able to put it out and have <clears throat> the most successful year of his career and then for something like this to happen so tragically is just it's, it's fucked up yeah and yeah. like uh biggie and pop died 20 something years ago and like for this to happen now it's just crazy that the same type of shit is still happening uh, yeah it's, un it's 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 unfathomable you know what i mean to think that <laughs> something so so senseless to someone that was so important to to our culture and our communities to just you know what i mean to be taken from us so young like i was telling i think i was telling Pooh, um like as much as we all already knew who, who nipsey hustle was he was literally just getting ready to be shown to the world exactly who he was you know what i mean like the victory lap drop successful album um i listen to it every single day mm -hmm. and then the whole gq thing goes down so now you're getting to see more of who he is as a man mm -hmm. and as a regular person and you see how much he loved uh lauren london and you see how much he loved his kids and then this the, community, you know yeah like, the community right, so you, know, you see you, you just can't imagine that somebody would want that person gone mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like it's just hard it's hard to imagine like, like for me, it was a, with Nip, it was a, I'm not going to say I've been a fan for the longest, but uh, I got shot out Duran, Duran Barnes, died, died. cuz put me on, like, yo, cuz, I'm telling you, like, I'm like, uh, I don't want to, who was Nipsey, like, I'm not trying to, and I'm listening, I'm like, like, yo, boy, talking, like, and the thing is, like, he, he he's from where we're from. Yeah. And to see somebody from where we're from, meaning growing up in the environments that we grew up in, in the hood, and you know, being exposed to the things we were exposed to, and see him turn it into what he was turning it into, like he he was so ahead of his time. Right. He was so ahead of his time, and uh, I don't think that we'll get the full impact until like years from then yeah to see what we've really lost mm -hmm. like when you have the lapd come out and say the things that they said about him yeah like this this doesn't just happen for anybody yeah. for any artist that died like you have artists that died happens all the time all the time and in the last i couldn't tell you the last time the the <clears throat> outpour and the outcry has mm -hmm. been this great behind the artist, it's a, uh, it's heartbreaking, man. It's because he he was trying to do so much, so many positive things. He was on and like like you said, let's, like we listen to that album, like we also we all laugh about how much we listen to the album like in the group chat. Like you can see, 
for months we all talk about it. We've been, like, we've been like, posting, and I'm like, yo, we've been using his quotes for the last. Oh, like, like I think our first episode we we came in to yeah, victory yeah, lap. Yeah, yeah. Like we came in to victory lap, but uh, it's it's crazy because like me, I try to I try to find new music. Like you know, we all try mm-hmm. to find new music. Hit the group chat, yo, this new, check this out. That's new, check that out. But uh, every day I would get in my car, I'm like, all right, I'm listening to something up. I ain't listening to Nick all day. And it's like, it's like gravitate right, gravitate right, right now. Now. And then like last Sunday when uh when it actually happened, it was crazy because I was coming from Merlin. I went down mm-hmm. Merlin and me and my me and my uh girl we riding out or whatever and listening to the you know who I heard some listening to the R and B slow jam whatever but. I'm like, man, I gotta put this lip on. Like, yeah. like this is like, I'm like, this is, I'm like, you know how I feel about this shit. Like, for real, when everything I love, bro. I'm, I'm sure like, I gotta, a lot I gotta, of people did the same I'm thing. I'm like, I gotta put this lip on it. I'm talking about, I'm telling her, we listen to the album ride, I'll come home, and I get home, and I'm not even home for an hour. And my mom was like, uh, pull, they just shot lip. And I'm like, yeah. what? And when she told me, like, the, uh, the amount of times I was like, I just knew it wasn't good, mm-hmm. and uh, like I said, this loss, like like you said, it, it we haven't felt anything like this in a while. It felt like losing someone that we grew up with, like you yeah. said, like because he was so relatable and he was trying to do so many positive things. Is yeah, this, this, this is a tough loss for the uh, yeah. Yo, I was at uh, I was at work. The people, period. I was at work. You know, we we tech each other throughout the day, mm-hmm. and I had. Uh, and, uh, you text like Nick got shot. So I froze. I'm like, how to go sit in the bathroom? Like for real because, like, hood put me on. We've been listening to Nick forever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was like, nah. But then once you hear you dead, like, it's like the world stop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So emotion. Nick was one of those people where you might not even like his music, but you can watch his interview. In yeah, yeah. so intellectual, like him like, as a person, yeah, him as a person. For real, that's his, the thing. He was so much bigger than the music. The world. Yeah, the world, and that's that's what was like the hardest part for me is like looking, you know, the fact that the world across you know culture was getting ready to realize who he was. You know, what I mean, as a person, <clears throat> he was, not a rapper, not a banger, yeah. like as a man. You right. know what I mean? Like that was getting ready to be displayed to the world because like, only people like us would even know because. We kind of look for it, mm-hmm. yeah. but the whole GQ can't like that was getting ready to show everybody. You yeah. know what I mean? And like we were saying, like when you watch this interview, you haven't seen anything like that since Pop. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then like he represented change. Like you can start off yeah. from here, but that doesn't define you. And a lot of that resonates so, with us very mm-hmm. deeply. Like the story, um, I, I think it was complex. Where I think his brothers telling a story about them selling. You know what I mean? They was like, we gonna we gonna move 50,000 50, units, and they're mm-hmm. doing it in this Lawson parking lot. And right. said three days in a row, um, the cop came and, and took all his merch. Right. So he was like, he just kind of sat down, like, damn. And then he just he just kind of looked up, and it was the uh, a storefront across the street that said for lease or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he was like, we just gonna get it, we just gonna get it legit. And then and look at it now, turn into marathon clothing, and they bought the whole block. Right. It's yeah. just like it's just like that's the that's the impact that that he had you know what i mean like outside of music so that that is stuff like that to where you know we talk about finishing the work right that's that's what we, we got to continue to do stuff like that right. just, and just let you know man like life can go like that man you got any dreams or anything you want to do go go get gotta it. Do it you got to do gotta, it gotta, gotta you, do we can't yeah. you gotta get rid of fear yeah like, I was sitting back thinking like, it, this situation asks me, what do I fear? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like, like you fear a lot of shit, but you fear you can't live. Point blank. The the, the last the the only real thing that I fear is wishing I had more time. Yeah. Like like literally like you just never know. You all you know there's a lot of stuff that that you do in life and you think you know that you have more time. Right. Don't make a phone call. You know what I mean? Don't right. text somebody. Yeah. Because you mm-hmm. always think you have more time. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, you don't. Oh, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's that's really what I 
we ain't gonna sit here and harp on this sad shit yeah, all day. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, we, right, definitely, right. we definitely don't want to yeah. continue with this vibe. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, we need to R R P. We need to break out of it. You know what I mean? Just wanted to pay our proper respects. Right, and yeah. uh, I do, I do want to say though that uh, a lot of y'all disappointed me. Uh, with the uh, y'all didn't even know him and all that type of yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, like, that's that, that, that y'all really disappoint me with that because yeah. they, they gotta grow up, man. It, it's not about who we know, it's about the effect they have. Or y'all, on them. Exactly. It's, it's not a competition of who yeah. was listening longer. I you understand, like, you got, like, you got issues going on in your life, and that's your way of dealing with them by trying to rain on other people's careers. Yeah, man. yeah. That shit is like definitely cool. But, but people always are so crazy how people always say, you know, oh, you was only listening to him this long, or you only know him. It impact is impact, and it right. don't have no timetable on it. Right. Somebody can get the same impact in a month that it might take two, ten years for somebody mm-hmm. else. Like it's mm-hmm. it's impact. There is no time on on what you feel. So you can hear you could have heard victory that for the first time. It felt everything. Right. You know what I mean? Like that could have been right. enough yeah. to. For you to be like, damn, like this, this messed up. You know what I mean? Like that, like so people, people just. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters was what he did outside of music and the message that he was trying to get across. Right. Well, the message, the message definitely came across. Well, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, his music. That's yeah, that's what. Man, he he didn't talk it. He lived it too. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely.